A wedding day is filled with tradition. The first dance, speeches from the wedding party, and the happy couple cutting the cake. The Milners did cut a cake at their reception in Guilford County last weekend, but not the one they paid more than $2,000 for. The cake maker canceled just hours before they said I do, leaving the newlyweds scrambling. There are a lot of unanswered questions here, and the couple still is out a lot of money. So they reached out to us to get answers. Here's WFMY News 2's Amber Lake. A very upset bride. It just hurts. It, it truly, you know, just hurts. And her very upset groom. This is a feel of disappointment. On their wedding day. I immediately knew that something was wrong. Charity and Darian Milner got married in High Point this past Saturday, October 1st. They booked their four-tiered wedding cake and dessert bar more than a year ago with Sweet Lucy Lou's Bakery. The price tag, more than $2,200. The tasting was amazing, if I'm being honest. The, the products that she prepared for our tasting were phenomenal, and we were immediately sold. It was definitely going to be a big, a big hit at the wedding. Come wedding day, bakery owner Elizabeth Penn reached out to the couple's wedding planner with some bad news. She sent a text message saying she did not have a cake to present. No apology in the text message. Texts continued between the wedding planner and the baker throughout the day, and so did the bad news. At first, just the dessert bar was coming. Then it was also a no-show. She just failed to deliver. She just didn't show up. No, and we still don't have a true explanation for exactly why. The cancellation policy of the contract between the bakery and the couple says if the couple cancels within 90 days from the event, the remaining balance is still due. The contract also says that in case of an unavoidable occurrence like bad weather, the bakery is not held liable for more than the price of product. The Milners say they visited the bakery owner the Monday after the wedding to get some answers as well as their refund, but left empty handed. A feeling of, like I said before, disappointment and just a feeling of she doesn't really care is, is how we feel. That's when they reached out to Two Wants to Know. We visited Elizabeth Penn, the baker at Sweet Lucy Lou's. My name is Amber Lake and I work with Channel 2. Are you, you're Elizabeth? She denied an on-camera interview but did give us a statement that says in part, quote, it is with great disappointment and sadness we confirm the agreement was not fulfilled for the wedding. We spoke to the client and family members on Monday, October 3rd to discuss a refund. It goes on to say, Sweet Lucy Luz agrees to refund what she paid the bakery. The bakery is permanently closed and wishes to reach a resolution with the client. For her not to deliver at all, you know, a, a cake that, that meant it, it was more, it was more than the cake. Hmm. The Milners are still trying to figure out what exactly their next steps are. Remember, they paid over two grand. They paid in full. And so what did they, what did you find out about the refund? Maybe a timetable for that? So we did reach out to the baker today and we sent them a list of questions and she responded back to us about the refund and as far as when is it going to be processed and how exactly it's going to be processed. And she responded and urged us to reach out to her attorney. So we did that. We sent them all of the questions and he responded. He said that we don't have a timeline yet, but did acknowledge that there is a problem that should get solved. He went on to say some of these questions would be better served being asked in court. Okay, Amber, hopefully the couple gets an answer and a mm -hmm. refund soon. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.